When you have a phobia, your brain is basically going back to the past memories and going, avoid, dangerous, all subconsciously. You're not necessarily logically doing it. So when you can take out the emotional charge from the past, you can change how you feel. And the example I often use is you can love dogs. You can love dogs, love dogs, love dogs. One day you get bitten by a dog. In that moment, you create a fear. And so it's also true that in that moment, you can link pleasure to something. Most people go, oh, I, like with fear of flying, they'll go, oh, I have a fear of flying. What they're not realizing is the whole sequence of internal patterns to feel that way. So in order to feel good or bad, you have to do something with what you say in your head. Like, oh, I'm not safe, for example. You have to have a belief about that. Oh, I'm in danger, whatever. You have to make pictures in your mind. So going to the flying example, you make a picture of the plane crashing. And so when you change that internal recipe, you can change how you feel. On a scale of zero to 10 anyway, how, how, how strong is the fear? Of a spider? Yeah. Right now, if you think about a spider. If you think about a spider right now. Like, seven? Seven. Because I know it's not All I want you to do is just stare at this light. So it's about seven right now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just focus on that feeling. Just allow your eyes to go from left to right. Focus on it now. Mm. Where is it at the moment? Like, I feel like I could quite happily hold a spider right now. So I'm here today to hold Leo the Tarantula. I actually named him myself, had the same star sign, Leo, so you know, see what I did there. But I'm, re I'm really nervous, but I'm also a little bit excited and to see if I'm actually as scared as I used to be. Since having the session with Chris about spiders and holding a tarantula, I really think I've actually conquered this fear. 